Hello and welcome back and that's right today I want to talk about the best snares you can buy in the first half of 2023 for about 500 nicker. I say 500 nicker, I of course mean 500 pounds, 500 dollars, 500 euros and although currencies do change around the world it's worth highlighting that now when it comes to how much you, how many dollars you get for your pound or how many euros you get for your dollar there's actually quite a lot of parity between all of them so right now we're going to talk about those best solutions you can get but a few disclaimers straight off the bat. Number one it's worth highlighting that of course there are better NASs. Sometimes you can get a NAS second hand, you can build it yourself, or you can go for something crazy old. I'm only looking at NASs that are currently part of the existing current generation of any brand. The reason being because they're the ones that get most future proofing out of the software, but also because they're the ones that are more widely available. So, yes, there are ways and means to get cheaper NASs if you go a few years older and get all of the software, but we're not going to include them in this video today. The second disclaimer I will highlight is it does not include the hard drives or the SSDs and let's face it that is going to make a big part of your purchase but and you know a little disclaimer off the bat uh, just on the side these are all at least four bays each you can go ahead and install one drive in these two drive and then add drives as you go along or fully populate it so the reason I didn't include storage media is one a lot of users use their own drives and two there's a huge amount of flexibility there maybe I'll do a follow-up video where we include the storage and we've already done videos like that in the past four clicks do check those out if I think it was 250 500 and one grand including the storage but today we're only looking at the NASs and the third disclaimer straight off the bat is nice and simple there's two NASs that we got to talk about this one and this one because right now although this video is going to be about the best NASs you can buy in the first half of 2023 for sub 500 nicker if you spend just 50 to 100 quid more you can get these two the Synology DS93 Plus and the QNAP TS464 both of these retail around a 550 599 uh, nicker mark each and with that this one has got 10 GBE upgradability, ECC memory. It's got that Ryzen processor that, although isn't graphically enabled, does allow you to have much better file handling and transfers internally. It's also got dual LAN. It's got expandability. But again, it's got that option to add 10 GBE and it's bought M2 NVMe SSD pools as well as caching. And in the case of the QNAP TS464, this is a four bay. It has that upgradability. It also has M2 NVMe slots inside that can already be used for pools, for caching, or even their own QT system. It's got HDMI out. It's got 10 gig USB and all of that within those price tag for both of them both of which include the software qts and dsm respectively the latest revisions and all of those apps we can't include these in today's video other than as a if you spend a little bit more you can get hold of them but you are not going to get these for less than 500 nicker so we simply can't include them also in the case of the qnap the memory quantity on the default model has been upgraded to 8 gig due to memory shortages out there and consequently that one is much much closer to that 600 nicker mark but for now let's crack on with the best option right now in terms of value Let's be honest, I've done a lot of these best of videos over the years as hardware ranges change and the number of features and services you get for your money adapts. But this is the first time I front loaded a video like this with an Acer Store product, and it is the Acer Store Flash Store series. This is 499 Nicker, and it is a six bay NVMe SSD NAS. We have done 4K Plex performance on this. We have done 8K Plex performance on this, and it did all of that. And although the ADM software isn't as evolved as uh, QNAP or Synology's um, DSM and QTS applications, ADM is still very robust. It's got BTRFS support. It's got a bunch of first and third party apps. And although it lacks some of the AAA apps, it makes up for it with having a very broad third party support. It's got an HDMI out at 4K. It's got two times 2.5 gigabit ethernet. It's got 10 gig USB. It's even got a very specialized FPDIF um, audio output as well. Now, when I said earlier on that I don't normally front load these videos with an Acer Store product, that's normally because comparative to the cost of their goods versus what you get for your money, it's generally relatively similar to Synology and QNAP out there, but their software isn't as evolved. So generally, I don't consider them as high tier as Synology and QNAP for the larger population of NAS users. But this absolutely 
changes it. And the flash store, you cannot build this for cheaper than they are charging 499 for it. And again, ADM is a great little platform with loads of client applications, but it's the sheer features and the abilities of this NVMe 6 bay NAS running on an Intel Celeron quad core and with four gig of memory that can be ranked up to 16 gig there. This thing is an absolute killer machine and in terms of value and particularly in terms of plex media server handling it is near unbeatable in 2023 and i'm willing to bet at the end of this year this is still going to be in my top five Next up, let's talk about the recently released Synology DS423+. Plus. That's right, Synology released another 4-bay. It was part of their DS4 XS Plus series. The kind of home SMB tier there. And although, let's be frank, the hardware inside feels like a little bit of a rehash of the DS920 that came before it, there's still no avoiding with its price tag of about 450 nicker there that this device still does a lot and with the inclusive dsm software inside it's probably one of the best options out there right now for those who want to go for a brand new synology nas with the latest firmware support and longevity in that firmware support but at the same time want to be able to take care of things like transcoding of multimedia and certain specific graphical enabled processes running on an intel quad core celeron processor an older generation if i'm honest the j4125 the 2029 2022 uh, 2020 uh, cpu favorite there it also arrives with two gig of ddr4 memory that can be upgraded to six gig bit of a weird number there um, and although it doesn't have 10g upgrade ability like the ds923 it does have the option of a couple of one gig lan ports there that do support SMB multi-channel port trunking link aggregation you name it also it has two M2 NVMe slots which can be used for um, storage pools as well as caching there so again a lot of comparisons to be drawn there between this device and that DS923 I mentioned earlier on but if you're looking for something a little bit more focused on Plex you're not too worried about bandwidth uh, limitations down the line but you also want to be able to access the full complement of DSM's applications and services again Synology Hybrid RAID BTRFS, DSM 7.2's collaboration suite, virtual machine surveillance station, the works. This is a great option. And if you're looking for the best you can get for under 500 nicker, this is the best Synology you can go for in the 2023 series. And over to QNAP, and although the TS-464 is still a very impressive NAS, it's outside of our remit, and if we're to stay within that 500 nicker maximum threshold, we've got to talk about the QNAP TS-462. Now, this is comparable to that 464 in a number of ways, but it is the step before it in their portfolio. Unfortunately, it is not here in the studio, so hopefully there's a graphic on screen, but we do have the two bay model here running some tests in the back ring and probably hear the fans of another eight bay just off screen that they're communicating between. Now, it arrives with a dual core Celeron. So you might already be thinking, well, the others were quad. Well, it's a dual core Celeron, sure, but it is a newer generation dual core there, the N4505. And again, great graphical handling there and definitely arguably better graphical handling than that of that J4125 that was in the Synology just now of an older generation and lower graphical capabilities. Now that dual core CPU is combined with two gig of DDR4 memory and it supports up to 16 gig on an upgrade. It also has 10 gig USBs. It also has 4K 60 frames per second HDMI. It also has a PCIe upgrade slot for adding 10 GPE and other network improvements. It also has 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. It also has M2 NVMe slots. What I'm saying is even though it isn't as top end as the 1 to 150 nick and more TS-464, it has pretty much all of the same baseline features. They're just not quite as scaled as they are on the 464. So again, for virtual machines, for Plex Media Server, as a nice, super fast, but compact, low powered um, file server, this will do the job. And again, you have full access to the whole of QTS 5 or QTS 5.1s apps and services so i do recommend you check that out and for surveillance as well with eight camera licenses included and all of the two click install vms uh, tools they're available to you in ubuntu and in standard virtual machine environments and their very own collaboration suite of applications to talk about the ts462 is not to be underestimated
And finally, one for the home brewers and the modders out there, we can talk about the Terra Master F4423. Knocking around for about four to 450 nicker, depending on which site you go for. Uh, the Terra Master F4 series, their latest 2023 revision, is just easily the best price unit you can find out there. And particularly those of you that want to buy a turnkey NAS, dabble around with it, but later on, install true NAS, install Unraid, um, just install Proxmox and run a bunch of different things, or run individual containers on a very light hypervisor. This is still a great choice to go for there. Now, arriving with that N5105 CPU that was inside both the QNAP one that was outside of our price point and that NVMe from Acer store there. But that CPU is also combined with four gig of DDR4 memory, but unlike everyone else that only allows up to 16 gig with that CPU, and indeed that includes Intel with a maximum supported amount, TerraMaster state that their system can utilize up to 32 gig, and they won't invalidate your warranty for going for that. On top of that, the system also arrives with M2 NVMe slots that can be used for caching and for pools. It's got 2.5 GBE on the rear. It also has 10 gig USB, and although it has the HDMI output, which cannot be used in TerraMaster's own TOS software, it can, on the other hand, support, again, installation of all of those third-party applications and services as your own individual OS rather than using that own TOS software. Now, the TOS software version 5.1 it's not as evolved as um, the QNAP Salon GRE of an Asus store software, but it is still quite good at all of the fundamentals. And although their software feels a little less responsive, it's better than it was. And having that packaged in, whether you're going to use it or not, just makes up the value that little bit more. So right now, for under 500 nicker, and again, closer to four to 450, with the Terra Master Nazis regularly on offer, makes it a great entry point into a you know, mid-range or even close to prosumer NAS solution without going anywhere even close to 500 nicker overall. But there you go. Those are the best NASs I would recommend right now for just under 500 nicker. If you're looking for the best in terms of value for money, that flash door is insane. If you're looking for the best priced one, then you go for the TerraMaster. If you're looking for the best software one, you definitely go for that technology, the DS423+. Plus. And finally, although this is not it, go for the TS460 too if you are looking for nice affordable plex and scalability in a nas long term thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this should be a link in the description to all of the nas's we talked about today their individual reviews as well as links to where you can buy it these individual devices at different e-shops if you want to support the channel and what we do please use those links it won't cost you anything extra and clicking those to take you to that store will result in a small fee from whatever you buy being headed uh, being shot right back here to me and eddie here at nas compares it's just us it allows us to keep doing what we do and we can do the free advice section with that the free community forum at ask nas compares and it helps us run the discord and the site and make more content thank you so much for watching have yourselves a great week